Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review for Badland Plus on the Apple Arcade for Apple TV. So the game is loading up here. We're on our title screen. It looks like we have like a hanging rabbit there. <laughs> He's hanging upside down by his foot as he swings. Alright, so we're in our opening scene here. And we appear to just kind of get like spit out here with a whole bunch of trash. I think Badland is supposed to be some sort of wasteland. And again, we don't really get much of a, of a tutorial here. So I'm just trying to figure out if the game has started and what I'm supposed to press. And I eventually get around to uh, pressing uh, the A button, which kind of gives us that flapping motion. I also figure out, I think later on, that the uh, right trigger also gives us that flapping motion as well. So I'm just going ahead here throughout the gears. And again, we're not really given much of a back uh, story to this game, uh, the way that it starts. You're just kind of thrown into it, which is different. So as we go through these stages, yeah, we're, we're dodging a whole bunch of things. We're dodging boulders and blades and gears, and then we get sucked into whatever that, you know, that thing is, which, which takes us to the next, you know, level. But I, I would have hoped for more of a little bit more of a backstory uh, to this, as far as kind of within an opening scene. We may get one later, but you do kind of start off by wondering what's going on. And again, excuse my sort of, uh, I guess my elegance with my flying or flapping. It is awkward with A button. I do get it together a little bit later on, but uh, that's when I figure out that I can use the right trigger which is a little bit easier to kind of repeatedly kind of tap than pressing A to uh, get our little creature here to fly. And this game has some very dark colors. Um, if you've been watching my channel and, and my reviews, you would have saw that I um, recently did a review on Leo's Fortune and... oh. As I, as I die there, see the rock landed on me. But um, I recently did a review on Leo's Fortune, and you know, these two games uh, definitely have a, like a huge sort of juxtaposition as far as kind of color. You know, Leo's Fortune is, is, is a fairly bright game in the way that it's designed. Um, you know, Leo is a, a green furball, and you know the staging, stage design, and color is pretty vibrant in that game. This one's definitely gone for and opted for more of a darker hue. You see everything in that foreground. And I'll wait to uh, we get back uh, into the game. You see everything in the foreground here is very dark, right? As opposed to like a Leo's Fortune where it's it's very vibrant, it's very green. Leo's Fortune, like that foreground. Uh, which takes a lot more sort of, um, I guess, design elements into it. This this has kind of taken away some of those design elements and kind of left it very kind of black, uh, you know, and kind of a kind of an easier design to um, kind of uh, proceed with and kind of carry on the game with. But the background in this actually looks pretty cool. It has kind of those ominous figures in the back, in the background. So the background to this is. Probably, you know, maybe a little bit better than Leo's Fortune, but Leo's Fortune has put so much into that foreground that it's really hard to even compare the two. And as you see here, as I touch kind of um, other creatures here that may kind of be dormant but are lying there, they kind of awaken and fly with me. So you can start to fly with a group here. You'll see down there at the bottom as I touch those black balls with the light. Uh, they kind of join me in my flight. And again, yeah, the, these these guys are, you know, they're black little fur balls, more or less. And uh, as I was saying about Leo's fortune, he's he's a green fur ball. So again, another sort of uh, 
juxtap juxtaposition there with uh, the two main characters, if you, if you can call them that. And again, we don't get much of a storyline. What's nice with Leo's fortune, we do get a uh, little bit of a backstory from Leo himself. He has the cool accent, uh, the, the voice uh, recording, everything like that is really kind of top notch in Leo's fortune. Here, um, I'm not sure if this thing has a name and kind of what, well, how, how it got here. You know, it's, you're kind of again being thrown into something without much of a backstory which is which can work in certain cases but um I, you know I, I don't in this case really appreciate it that much uh oh okay so i'm big enough to not die from that rock but uh yeah just i, I was left wanting a little bit more from uh this game just because the, the uh kind of mechanics of um the way that this thing flies isn't, you know, the greatest. Um, so with that, you know, it definitely needs a little bit more of a, a backstory to kind of, I don't know, for me to be excited and want to continue throughout these stages. It feels just like a little empty to me. And again, these transition sequences, I'm not sure, you know, you're going through these stages or dots and everything like that it's like it's it's hard to tell kind of what you're doing and um i, I probably got around the pausing the game here a little bit just to kind of look at the menu to see like okay what am i doing what am i um you know progressing through what am i trying to trying to achieve which is kind of hard to tell um at this point uh, in the game but yeah here i figure out i can do the r trigger this kind of gives us just ideas as far as how this thing multiplies, what makes it go fast or slow, etc. And of course you have like the leaderboards and everything like that. Achievements. You can click on that globe icon. Alright, so we're back flying here. Some of those things give you a boost, some of them give you more of a, uh, a slowdown. And yeah, it's very easy to leave your companions behind here. What's good is, yeah, whatever one is left alive, that's the one that you can kind of take over as the lead, which is good. It's kind of hard to control all of them, so at least they help you out with that. Some of them get stuck together. Oh, I think we have a little prick prickly things. I used to live in New Jersey, you know, I remember those things being, I think, on trees and things like that during uh, maybe the summer or spring and stuck with those things like in the woods when I was a kid. Alright, see, I think I'm too big for this thing here and then I just end up dying to get through. Let's see. I'm gonna try not to get too big so I can get through. Right down here. And again, just kind of, I feel like I'm mindlessly kind of, you know, progressing through this. There's no sort of little interlude for me to kind of remind me of what, you know, I'm trying to achieve. So, this is Badland. Um, you know, I'm not completely blown away by this game. It's, uh, you know, it's a different sort of side scroller, if, if you can call it that. Um, you know, it, it, it's something to play. Um, I, I didn't get much out of it. I know that, you know, there is um, different kind of versions. I think we'll, we may just kind of look at the 
the main menu here in a second because I know there is like a multiplayer and things like that that you can get into. But the, the campaign in itself seems kind of, I don't know. The individual campaign seems kind of, I don't know, not uh, where it's at, so. There may be more longevity in this game within like the multiplayer online options. I did not get a chance to, to do that, so you know, if I can give the game some bail, maybe it, it is in maybe more of the uh, co-op multiplayer sort of uh, functions of it, but just kind of playing through this individual campaign, I'm not really blown away with kind of where the game is going. Um, it feels like there is something missing almost within it. And what I may do is um, eventually getting get around to maybe multiplayer, but I don't know, the, the individual game is not too exciting for me, so I may not even get around to that. But uh, that's my review on the game. I don't really highly recommend this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed my review. If you do, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.